Hey there viewers, Della here, and welcome back to New Release Friday, a series where I pick a random new game, do a really shitty review of it after playing for a couple of hours, and hope you make an informed decision based off of that. It's been a couple weeks since I've done this series because all sorts of great stuff has been happening. This week, we're looking at Doggo Lorax, Doggle Rax, Pupper Lax, 2D platformer style, really weird I guess. We're gonna give it a try. Where am I? Who am I? How did I come to be here and who the hell is inserting his tongue into my nose? Good news. I selected joystick as my controller. <laughs> Doesn't do shit. Great! Oh! It's arrow keys? What is this, fucking addicting games? Oh, I just ran off a cliff to my death. <laughs> Starting out strong. <laughs> Enter, shift, zero, up, down, W. How do I jump? Control. Control is how you fucking jump. Oh, you can fucking b-hop. I'm not scripting. I'm not scripting, prove it. What, are you gonna overwatch me? Help me, please. I had the mission to terraform this planet, but my robot crashed inexplicably. Don't stay so close to my robot, it can explode. You're like naked and covered in blood. I, <laughs> I don't know what to think. Hi, though. Oh, now you're not covered in blood. The explosion blew the blood off of her. Dreaming of the living elevator. that is. Who are you? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> back into the real world, I guess. Oh! Okay. Well. Let me out! Okay, well, we hurt his feelings. Let me bait him out. Oh. Puke me out! Hey, we got out alive that time. Alright, well, making progress. This game is gnarly. Wait, am I alive? Where the fuck am I? Okay, I guess I have to start a new game. Let's just spam him to death before it's too late. Can I keep going this way? Oh shit, I've got options. Okay, well, well, well it's fine, we'll go in the cave. Hey, there's an arcade over there, guys. Ugh, blood flies. Bonus time! Alright. Damn. What up, Ting Chung Lee? Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're very attractive. Okay. It shows some sort of fucking instructions. But I can't fucking read them because the- God damn it! Why is it doing this to me? <laughs> yeah, we did it. We're good. Ting Chong Lee would be proud. Okay, bonus level's gone. Oh! <gasps> Hey man, you know, if you don't fuck with me, I won't fuck with you. What the fuck is in the top left? <laughs> That's so fucking weird. Okay, whatever. Climb on in. Ugh, I just went into a vagina <laughs> of some sort. Oh, there's a little predator down it. Excuse me. He took my gun. <laughs> what a fucker. Okay, I touched a weird head and hey, cool. Siberian wolf. Ooh, buddy. Alright, we're good. Alright, 
That's cool. I'm not gonna hate. Identification required. Alright. Fuck. You can pass, thanks. Thanks, girl. This is like someone just... Someone did a lot of acid. And was like... I drew a bunch of cool shit. Let's make it into a game. <laughs> Hello, stranger. I'm so happy I found someone to talk with. You become my best friend. Hear me, I crashed on this planet last week. Monks led, to, led me to sacrifice for the glory of my priestess. Then I awake Spider-Man. Sweet, this new body must be very practical. I knew we were meant to be friends. The priestess say that Earth is a planet of miscreants and must be destroyed. I expect it will be invading very soon. It's fucked up, man. How can I help you? Kick my head strong enough to explode it. Holy fuck. Somebody tried, but no one succeeded because my head is made of iron. He's the Terminator. But I can't do that. Please. You don't understand. I can't because there's a wall between us. How do you talk to him then? Is there anyone there to terminate me? Please. I'm sorry, man. I wish I could. <laughs> when in doubt. Climbing up the old, the old puke chute. What are you? The art's really cool. I like all the art. Everything is... It's not like amazingly well drawn. But it's cool. It's neat to look at, you know? It's like Dr. Seuss on... More acid? Enough acid? Whoa. You. You have my gun, you little shit. There's no way to get to you, though. I'll be back. I'm gonna get you. Human, if you find this planet, get your ass out of here ASAP. To escape, go down, turn right, enter the door, turn right, and turn left. Oops, nope. Turn left and turn right. Do you understand? No? Okay, listen to me. Go down, enter the door, turn right, and turn left. Oops. I did make a mistake. For, first, you need to go down and turn left to enter the door. That's it. Do you want me to repeat it again? No! I'm already super confused. I Just escape, go down and turn right. Enter the door. Turn right and turn left. No turn. Fuck you, man. Dreaming of a giant worm. There's more priestesses. Okay, this is old school. This doesn't have saves. You have to remember your password if you fuck up and want to start from there again. Food! That's doable. Up. Oh. Maybe it's not doable. <laughs> Aw, I had it. Oh, you. You did it! Yeah, that's that's something to celebrate, actually. Chapter one, you did it. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I see. Okay, this is kind of cool. <laughs> what a fucking dick. Good idea, man. Oh, fuck. I messed up. So, why we're slowly crawling. <clears throat> Last week, I was going... I, I recorded a new release Friday. And I had it all ready to go. The Wildlands beta. Recorded like two hours of footage. And it went to shit. I hit the button to finalize the recording. Ooh, I thought I was going to get fucked. And when I hit the button to finalize the recording... It wouldn't finalize. Which explains why I missed last week for New Release Friday. The week before that, it was just my new schedule sucked so bad that I didn't have time to record. It was as simple as that. But now I should be back on track. The 
power of the ovaries! <laughs> what the fuck is this game? Minstra. This game's kind of cool so far. It's minimal. It's... I don't know. It's like as minimal as you can get with maximum effort. It's fucking weird. Oh, I touched this butt. Never touch butts, guys. That's... <laughs> That's the rule of today's episode. Never touch butts. You know what? No. I would never tell anybody not to touch butts. Touching butts is the best. Man, it's been a minute since I've touched a butt. Do you think I have not seen you? Do you think I am a urinal? <laughs> He's like, what? Oh no, I'm slipping. I'm going to fall. Please come rescue me. I got you. Don't worry. Well. Is there some way to avoid that, or did I get baited? Yeah, that, okay, she's a bitch. Fuck you. Can't wait to invade Earth. Yeah, me neither, man. What up? Welcome, human. For your first test, you shall try to cut your way to Doggo. <laughs> Doggo Sanctuary, where you will be selected for the great sacrifice. I don't want to be sacrificed. It's a great honor for you. Do not waste this uni unique opportunity. There's no way through there. Okay, fine. I'll tell her to shut up, witch. Shut up, bit. Oh, I mean, witch. Oh. Oh, fucker. Oh, fucker's following me everywhere, just teasing me with my gun. Dreaming of blasting monks. What's happening to me? Hallucinogenic water. Press control. Joystick, press button. Cool. I don't know what this is, but... Oh, I got a little friend! Got me another friend! Keep stacking them on, man. <laughs> what was that? Chico Fluff! Is that Michael Jackson? You already have maximum magic power. That thing is spooky. Fuck him. Ah, there's two of them. You know, the song is no aquatic ambience from Donkey Kong. But it's okay. I like it. <laughs> Fucking jump scared me. Hey, a coin. What's this? Fucking beach ball? Oh, it's a shield. That thing is badass. Look at that thing. Bro, you can get super OP. <laughs> what? Aw, oh, it's only two uses. I'm getting stacked, guys. <laughs> Look at all this shit. I got three little drones following me. I've got a big fucking orb and a spinning lightsaber. Holy shit. Vac, Gaben, please. Stupid human. Go away of this sacred water. Um, I'm so nice today. This is the first time I've spoken to your species. Usually I just kill them. Okay. So, uh, you're looking alright, girl. You're like, uh, you're like Rudo from Ocarina of Time, just a lot more mature. These environments are super well crafted. I, they fit the game so well, they're fucking weird, they're so weird, but so cool. The hallucinogenic water strikes again. It toys with my mind. Additional key to fight. Spacebar. Okay, I'm gonna have to hit that with my pinky. Which is fucking weird. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Ah! Fuck off. Okay, I have to jump the small things. And kick these guys. Easier said than done. Easier said than done. Easier- Fuck. Why are you? You look adorable. Monks do scientific experiments on humans. Don't trust them. They work for the priestesses. Oops, it's coming again. Ah. 
Wow, it's like a rebirth. You should try. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's fucking horrifying. What are you doing here? How did you reach this planet? Help. I'm lost. <laughs> probably gonna kill me. We're the only humans who know about this diamond mine on this planet. Bring me home, please. He only killed one. What about the other guys? Yo, you back there. Help me. I don't care about the diamond. Well, I mean, I kind of care about the diamonds, but we're, we'll talk about that later. Just get me the fuck out of here. Actually, you know what? Don't. I kind of like this place. Oh boy. This looks like it'll be f You already knew what I was going to say. Because it's not going to be fun. Hey, give me my gun, you fuck! Okay, that's cool. Okay, thanks for the advice. Stop killing me with it, though. Chapter 3. The World of Mutants. This planet is a nightmare. Hey, you're like one of my little drones. Come back. Easter egg. I want the Easter egg. Alright. Check this shit. We're gonna Kobe this fucking Easter egg. I mean, uh... Hey, check this shit. We're gonna Kobe this Easter egg. Oh, I Kobe'd it. I didn't think I would actually do it. Mister, can I do something for you? I love your style. I made it. You fucking dicks. Dreaming of an eyeball in the wall. More and more of these priestesses keep showing up. Holy fuck, I've already been playing for an hour. It's fun. I'll give it that. Oh, look at this shit. I dreamt of this. Oh. Aw, come on now. Holy shit! I got an eyeball. I don't know what it does, but I got it. Yeah. I'm really disappointed. I thought we were friends. What do you mean, man? The eyeball will help us. Are them titties? Girls. Okay, what's up? Priestesses put him in this hole when he was a baby. After being fed and growing there, he finally died. Are you human? Mortal? Wanna try a hole too? <laughs> I mean, I'll try anything once, you know? What the fuck's the point of having two cute twins in a fucking watering hole if I can't jump in with them? I can see him now because of the light. Oh. Give me that back! I wanted that! <laughs> God damn it. Terminate me. Gloop. Terminate. Who's that guy coming in from the bottom? He's like, I see that ass. Welcome, human. Fetch the eyes for the skull. Good luck and enjoy your sacrifice. Thanks. You like... You wanna... You wanna show me around this planet? Because I have no fucking idea what's going on. This music is so good. Especially for, like, setting the scene, you know? I'm glad to see you, but this is bathroom. <laughs> Time to ship myself out of here. Bye! <laughs> Come back! What is this? Can I touch it? I'm searching for the center of the universe, but I'm not sure this is the best way. I'm sorry. The controls are not good in this game. I will... I will throw that out there. When you're just doing, like, basic stuff, they're not bad. Like, when you're just walking around and experiencing weird-ass shit, they're not bad. But when you're trying to do timing-based stuff, they're not good. What's up, Akane Otomo? I'm gonna try not to suck. 30 seconds. A lot of balls. A lot of balls. A lot of balls. Oh, well, that went well. Those tits are way too big. 
The controls are so bad. Ah, I'm going the easy way. I have to. I can't fucking stand this stupid fucking controls anymore. You won't jump when you jump. You just fucking run off the side of things. It's fucking stupid. Oh, I'm getting so tilted. That was bullshit. I shouldn't have made that. I don't know what the fuck happened, but I'm gonna take it before I cut my wrist. That's cheap as fuck. Did you see that shit? Wait a minute. A few weeks ago, I was a human just like you. Cool, glad we could finish that conversation. Can't let you pass because you pirated this game. I'm sorry? How did you find out? No, I paid for this game. Let me pass. I'm a little drone. These guys have been good so far. It's forbidden to eat a police officer. Don't do it again. Hands up, don't shoot. Just work. This game is so fucking cool, I don't want to have to not recommend it only because the controls are so shit. <sighs> hey, it's the Terminator again. Ter. Me. Ne. T. I did it. I killed him. Game over. We did it, guys. You're really cool looking. <sighs> Let's see where this leads. Lightsaber. Chapter 4. Captain Cosmic Skull. Oh boy, a black vagina on the wall. You are the one. You are so fresh, I can smell your flesh. Alright, into the flesh gate. Be hopping into the flesh gate. Whoa, titties. War and conquest is the way. Convert to the religion of... Doggo. War and conquest is the key. I'm speaking to you through this drone. I'm a Cosmo police officer. Help me defeat those priestesses. This is an order. But the priestesses are hot, man. Whoa. Hey, I got back my gun. What the fuck is happening? Okay, I knocked him on... his face. My gun. I feel bad for him. Look at the poor guy. You want it back? You can have a bag. I am Dogorax, the god of peace. The monks and priests have crucified me to create a new religion of war and conquest. So he is the doggo we've been hearing so much about. How to destroy humans. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing, it's only a, a oh, I'm just looking up for internet porn. <laughs> what? Priestesses are waiting for me. Password, the palace. This is kind of badass looking. And yet again, the music. What is that? Encyclopedia. The monks invite you to consult the digital grimoire of knowledge. He cannot wipe his own butt. <laughs> Poor thing. What a life. The story is actually kind of interesting. Sort of. It's like a bunch of monks working under the priestesses to make a false religion for people who crash on this planet, I guess. Weird. So this is the OG Dogorax. And then they made a better one and crucified this one. It seems they do not even wear panties under their dress. Welcome, human. Stupid. Finally. You are... Why don't you... Wait. Finally, you are not welcome, stupid human. Why don't you let you die? Go back to your planet and never come back. What? Hyperdrive technology is needed. My starship! I finally found it! Dude, I'm super stoked to see you. Hyperdrive doesn't exist. If thieves knew that. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. No, I don't want to steal his fucking ship. <sighs> Wait, what are we doing? 
Oh, we're dodging rocks. Last chance to escape? What? What do you mean? I'm fucked. I'm fucked. You sure you want to leave this planet? Okay, one last chance. What the fuck? What? Well, this is really fucking annoying having the same music start and stop over and over again. On a fucking bullet hell level of all things. Man, just let me play the fucking game. Don't induce false difficulty for no reason at all. Okay. Hi, guy. It was me who was talking through the drone. Hi. Hi. Why aren't you wearing clothes? I'm a Cosmo police officer investigating on these priestesses. The human species will probably disappear because of their army of nightmare... ...creates they plan to dump on Earth. You and I are the only hope of perpetuating our species. Do you see what I mean? Congratulations. You did it. Thanks for playing. Dolgorax. Dolgo. Lorax. Whatever it's called. Closing thoughts. This game is a roller coaster of emotions. And not in the sense of like, all oh, the story's fucking with me and stuff like that. In the sense of, oh my god, I love it. And oh my god, I hate it. The gameplay? Hate. In so many ways. But at the same time, I like it in some ways. There's some good stuff and some really bad stuff. Because some of it's just like cute, sort of like... You know, you interact with stuff and stuff happens and it's cool, you know? And like the way they mix in mini games and do things within the same game is, yet again, it's cool. I like it. But then there's sections that are just artificially hard for no reason whatsoever. The art, it's cool. I mean, it, it's not even like incredibly like well-drawn stuff. It's just creative stuff. It's, it's just they thought of neat stuff and made it into something, you know? And I appreciate that. It, it's really well done in the sense that they just drew stuff they thought looked cool and then made it into a world and they made stories for all of it the encyclopedia is so fleshed out it's crazy there's so much stuff in there now the controls are just not good they're fine for a lot of the game like a lot of the just sort of running around seeing stuff interacting with things and whatnot it, that part it's cool for but when you get into the sections where you have to be really precise and right on certain stuff, not good. Because that's the part where you're playing like artificial hardness games where they just add in a bunch of bullshit that makes it hard just for the sake of being hard and not because it takes skill or thought. And the controls just make it way worse, which kind of sucks. It says it has controller support. My controller didn't work at all. That's kind of a downer. The soundtrack is fucking great. Whoever did the music for this nailed the environments and it's really good just a lot of it's sort of chiptune stuff and then there's the stuff that's really ambient and fitting for whatever world you're in it i like it a lot the random anime girls i don't know where the fuck that came from i, I get that it's like the priestesses or whatever and then there's other anime girls it sort of seems shoehorned in but the fact that the rest of the game was so fucking weird is totally like it makes it not stick out as much almost it makes it like you know, at this point, I'd expect just about anything from this game. And who doesn't appreciate a little bit of anime girls or whatever? This game was really cheap. Four bucks, five bucks, something like that. I would pay that for this all day. Don't get me wrong. The gameplay, I wouldn't pay. I wouldn't pay that price for this gameplay. The gameplay is not where it's at. It's everything else is where it's at. The art. The soundtrack, 
the interactions. There's so much good that it justifies the price tag. It's not even three hours worth of gameplay. I didn't expect it though. I've, I've come to expect that with most of these new release Friday games because I, I tend to pick games that are somewhat smaller. I was looking at another game called Hollow Knight that I was going to pick up and play instead, but... That one's a little more expensive, and I think it's going to be a little bit longer, and I'm thinking instead I'm just going to do a blind playthrough on my Twitch channel. If that does sound interesting to you, twitch.tv slash Delacroix, I'll be playing stuff there somewhat regularly. And at the end of New Release Friday, of course, I always tell you, is the game worth it? I think so, yes. If you can get over the shitty controls and the pretty cheap gameplay elements, the horrible hitboxes and things like that, there is a really cool, well thought out game right here. I liked it a lot. I didn't expect to either. Do some acid, smoke some weed, whatever your vice is, and just fucking play this game. Or do what I do and drink some Sunkist and play this game because that's cool too. I hope you enjoyed this episode of New Release Friday. I'm gonna try to keep doing it every week, but I kinda suck, so I might not. <laughs> Thanks for watching.